Hi everybody, Casey Zander here, and in today's video I'm going to be explaining why modern women are no longer attracted to the modern man, and oftentimes why 99.9% .9 of guys struggle not only in their day-to-day -day life, but struggle attracting you know the quality of companion, the quality of woman that they want. Now, this video is going to be extremely deep, and I'm not going to hold anything back because we're going to get into everything that stems from modern day men's victim mentality to not prioritizing the right things in life to the extreme laziness and the extreme focus on things that don't actually give them an ROI in life to everything that stems into their worldview. Okay, in order for this video to truly stick, first off, you're gonna have to have thick skin because probably you are a 99 percenter and some of this is going to hurt. But not only that, you have to be willing and you have to be open to change. So can we at least both agree before I dive into this, like, are you guys cool with that, that we are going to be open to change, we're going to make an agreement in this video that we are open to change and we will change. If you can do that, comment below this video and put I'm ready, so that way I know that this actually makes sense and you're ready for this journey. Here it goes. The biggest reason why majority of men struggle with women is because they are extremely effing lazy. Just let that sink in. They are extremely lazy. They do not want, mo most guys do not want to do any work at all. They think that they should be able to walk up, talk, say hello, and that should be good enough, and them as is should be good enough to get the quality of companion that they want. And I know the typical victim mentality and the typical excuse. The excuse is, why do I have to put in this work, and the girl that I'm talking to doesn't have to do anything other than stand there and exist? Well, the reason being is because it's a different qualification standard, okay? If you want to attract the girl in the beginning, you're going to have to do the things that will show that you can do that. Now, chances are, if you can attract her, you can attract a lot of different women, which means her qualifications is on the back side, the back half, which is retaining the guy that she actually wants because chances are, if you can attract her, you can attract lots of women. This is a skill set that you can sharpen. So because of that, she has work to do as well to keep you satisfied once you guys have entered into a relationship, but you have to understand, it's a different set of qualification metrics. Your work is on the front end, the girl that you're talking to or the companion that you're trying to get, her work is on the back end. Okay, that's just how it works. Most men are extremely effing lazy. There's a victim mentality that every single guy has where they think that they're owed something. And they think that they're cool because they live this lifestyle that facilitates their negative behavior. So if you look at the type of guy that most women run into, they smoke pot all day, they play video games, they, they don't do it. Like think, think about what a video game is. You're literally sitting there on your couch staring at a wall. And if the screen with pixels wasn't there and I, I, I went and I, I unbolted that off the wall and I took it down, what would be behind you would be sheetrock and paint. That's what you're staring at. This victim mentality of men thinking they don't have to do any work, they don't have to do anything to improve themselves, they don't have to do anything to speak better, they don't have to do anything to actually get further ahead in life is the exact reason why they're stuck, lonely, depressed, probably have low T and can't even get anywhere in life because they strictly don't focus on the right thing. So if this is you, if you've been extremely lazy where you don't like working on your body, you don't want to think harder to prioritize wealth creation tactics, you don't want to actually do the work that makes men really attractive, you're going to be in for pain. And sexually, reproductively, you are not going to be rewarded. You're going to be punished on that area in life and it's going to be very, very hard. So because of that, I'm here to help you. Okay, the first thing you have to do is you have to get rid of your victim mentality. Nobody owes you anything. You can watch as many of my videos as you, as you want. If you don't go out and take action and actually become a stud, you're screwed. And the guys who are willing to take action on this channel are actually going to get ahead. Number two, the second reason why most guys are not able to actually get ahead and attract the women that they want is they don't prioritize health. Okay, I need this to sink in. There is a reason on this channel for the past four to five years, I've prioritized you building your body. Now, can you only attract women on purely looks and purely muscle? Absolutely not. But here's what this symbolizes. Number one, it symbolizes that you're a viable option. Unlike the raw visceral reproductive level, if a girl sees a guy with wide shoulders, a wide back, a small waist and a six pack abs, that's the equivalent to you seeing a curvy girl with a nice figure. Like that does something. So for those of you who you say, hey, you know, I practice my verbals, I practice my game, I try to speak correctly, and in the first five seconds I'm getting rejected and there's no interest, that's why. 
because in order for you to get your foot in the door, there has to be baseline attraction established. The only way for you to do that is to prioritize your health. So here's what happens when you prioritize your health. Your testosterone levels go up, your strength goes up, you actually become rock solid and grounded, you look strong, therefore you look viable and able to protect, the woman feels safe with you. All of these attraction triggers and metrics are extremely important. So until you put down the Jack Daniels, until you put down the beer and cheeseburgers, and until you finally start making the right foods, prioritizing healthy fats, lean protein, you finally actually start getting in the gym, structuring your exercises in a progressive overload format, you actually start to do the work to look strong, capable, and able to protect, that is going to be the first step. And 99% of guys strictly won't do that. They're just too lazy, okay? The next step, number three, is most men do not prioritize wealth creation. Now, I'm going to explain what wealth creation does when you actually prioritize this. And keep in mind, within the next month, I'm coming out with a slew of different, different options to truly help you guys prioritize wealth and create that wealth and actually have a legacy where you are generating income for yourself on new levels. That is coming very soon. But let's just talk about this at a surface level. When you don't prioritize wealth creation, you end up in stagnation. And there is no quicker way to lose your ambition, your hustle, and your masculine drive and spirit as a man than to be stagnant in one specific job or occupation your entire life with zero ambition to continuously to climb the ladder. Now, some of you, you might be sitting there asking, hey, when is enough enough? I make six figures, isn't that good enough? You're placing the wrong markers on success for what women look at. After a certain income level, like after probably 150K to 200K per year, once you can facilitate the lifestyle that you want, go on vacations, things like that, right? Buy maybe boats, extravagant, you know, outings, things like that. The money becomes irrelevant. And what really becomes attractive is the internal drive that that guy has to keep progressing forward. The game is never over. It's not like you wake up one day and you're just done hustling, you're done grinding. You want to keep that progression ladder your whole life. You wanna be 50, 60, 70 years old. You wanna still be looking at the next thing because that's what makes life actually worth living. When you have those long-term wealth creation tactics and those smart principles and those thinkings, here's what happens, okay? Not only do you keep your ambition and your hustle and your drive your entire life, but you have to remember that you are consistently working your own mental bandwidth. You are thinking smarter and you're thinking harder and you're looking at ways to get ahead because you genuinely enjoy maximizing the capability that life has to offer. Guys who don't prioritize wealth creation, they get stagnant, okay? Hypergamy kicks in and all of a sudden you will be outdone by guys who are willing to consistently do the work. Keep climbing the ladder. It brings fulfillment. It brings you things to do. That's number three, okay? Below this, I have a fourth. They have no game because they are not interesting. So the last piece to this, once you have money, once you have muscles, like you need the charisma and the game aspect. You need to know how to properly flirt and properly banter. But here's the fact, the biggest reason why guys can't do that, regardless how much they think of it, regardless how much they practice, is because their life is not interesting. And their life is not interesting because they don't do anything. So the things that a guy has to do to be interesting is to be able to actually be able to entertain, right? Have, have things to do, be able to organize people and events. Like I'll give you an example. In no way, shape or form am I going to be talking about my lifestyle on this video to brag or to gloat or humble brag or anything like that. But I definitely have recreational toys like boats or jet skis, hot tubs, things to do. Okay, I have a house where it's big enough to entertain. So if I need to flirt with a woman or if I need to even just entertain a group of guys and actually speak and convey the right sort of energy, there's things to do. Okay, we can go back to my place and we can grill. Okay, we can watch a movie. We can go hot tubbing. We can hop on the boat and go late night boat cruising. Like there's so many things to do. Because of that, it's very, very hard to get outdone. So you have to remember this, like the only way to do these things is by prioritizing that wealth creation and consistently having that ambition and that hustle. And when you bring these things together, you become the type of guy that any woman would want. Therefore, you start to have your pick of the litter with options. So with that said, the next line to this that I have is so many guys think that attraction and getting good with women is linear. Like they think that their progress should be like this. Every single day they work a little bit at it and at least 1% wins add up. That is not how it works in any way, shape, or form. Attraction and getting the type of companion that you want is not linear. It's not like, it's not like there's this constant gradual incline. Here's how it works. You eat shit, 
year after year after year after year in your teens and 20s until you build something for yourself and all of a sudden it goes whoom. And you get to the point where it's like you actually can now attract the type of person that you want because you have made yourself a man of value. And here's what happens. Before you had no options, it's not like now you have one or two options, it's like now you have hundreds of options because women actually view you as the type of guy with status, wealth, ambition, drive. And the key with that is once you have the charisma and the attraction skills to maintain that, you have now truly became full stack. This takes a mission and this takes a journey. So with that said, how do you start to do this? You need to use your health and use your muscle and the resources and the things that you're doing with your wealth creation to fortify the game and the confidence. A lot of guys have this in the wrong order. They try to learn game, they try to learn seduction, they try to learn confidence first. That is not what you do. What you do is you build the internal guts, you build the internal creation of who you are. You improve in every single area in your life. So that way you have cool shit to talk about. You have cool shit to do. You have cool places for people to meet. And all of a sudden you become a really interesting cool guy to where flirting, to where holding interactions with people, not just women, automatically becomes part of who you are and you become a charismatic person because of what you've done in the past and the things that you've built for, built for yourself and the things that you have to talk about because the stories and the journey that you've actually built. In this 11 and a half minutes that we've shared together in this brief time, I truly hope that this video not only gave you the skills and the resources, but also empowered you. And if this small video was enough to empower you, there's multiple links below in this description of this video that I want you to check out. For those of you wanting to work one-to-one -one with me inside my men's full stack one percenter program, I want you to go down below and book a call with my brother Cole. He'll review your application, he'll see if you're a fit, and if you are, we'll extend the invitation for you to work one-to-one -one with me. That is number one. Number two, for those of you who have not been inside the MBT webinar, MBT stands for Masculine Behavioral Techniques. I've prioritized, I've prioritized these specific four keys within my own life, my entire life. If you have not watched that webinar, brand new for 2022, not only are you going to see hundreds of men who look just like you, but you're truly going to have a step-by-step -step process inside of that webinar training that I shot brand new for 2020, excuse me, 2022. You want to hop into that and watch that ASAP. You will thank me later. Guys, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.